Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art with Mrs. R. We're gonna do a drawing today and it's gonna be a cute drawing of a squirrel. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by sharing my screen with you. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do first is you're going to need to get a piece of paper um, and then I have my scratch paper underneath because um, you'll need that later. Um, so. Um, you're going to need to put your picture landscape, first of all, to start. So everyone, go ahead and turn your page landscape so that the tallest parts are up and down, okay? And you're going to need a pencil. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the face of my squirrel, and it's going to look a little bit like a letter C like that, okay? So you're going to do that. It looks like a sideways letter C. And then I'm going to get, add a little nose, and I'm going to add a little mouth right there, and I'm going to add an eye right there like that. Okay, so you're going to add that to your squirrel. And then we're going to give our squirrel some little ears like that. Okay, and then inside of it we're going to put another one like that. And then we're going to give them another ear right there. All right, so the next part we're going to do is going to go back behind the head like this, curve down just like that. Okay, so that's the back of the squirrel. And now I'm going to draw a little line like that. And that's his neck. And we're going to come down like this for his hand. So there's one. And then we're gonna draw his leg. So we're gonna come up and around like this. Down and back up. And connect like that. And then we're gonna give where we connected the lines, we're gonna give a squirrel a big, kind of it looks like an S coming off this body. And come down like that to make a big bushy tail. And now we're gonna come down and make another arm like that. And then we're going to make another leg. So our squirrel is kind of hanging out there. Okay. And then we're going to add a nut. So our squirrel is going to be holding an acorn. So acorns going to look like that. And we a letter U. And then we're going to put an oval on top of it. That's the top of the acorn. And then we'll put a little stem on that. So we're going to go ahead and erase that little mark right there. And we're going to erase this little mark up here. Okay. So then, a heat corner on the top, we're going to draw some circles like this. Just draw some little lines. And then behind our square, we're going to draw a line like that. So this is going to be the ground. And then we're going to draw out of the corner and start a trunk of a tree. Up, out, like that. And then go down and up, like that. And then down and up, like that. And that's where we're going to put our tree. So we're going to come out like this and make some of these loopy letter U looking shapes, okay? And then behind the tree in the square, we're gonna go around like that. And that's, that's all there is to that for drawing your squirrel. So the next thing you're gonna need to do is get your Sharpie out. And we're gonna trace all the lines, our pencil things that we are going to keep. So I'm just going to go through and sharpie all the lines. Okay. Now remember, you don't exactly have to stay on the lines. These were just a guide. So I actually wanted to make my squirrel's back a little bit bigger, so I made it bigger than the line. You can do the same thing if you like. Okay. You don't have to go exactly along the lines. So I'm just tracing around. 
Come in and trace lines over here and go up like that. Go down like that. Okay. So at this point, you can go in and erase any lines that you don't want in your picture. This is on needs to get a new eraser. Okay, so you can go through and erase any lines that you're not happy with. So the part we're going to do next is the coloring. Um, so squirrels come in lots of colors, gray, browns, different shades, black. Um, so you can color your squirrel whatever color you like. Um, I'm going to start by coloring the body of my squirrel in a brown. And I'm going to press down quite a bit because I really want a lot of this color to show up. And the squirrel, so and go around carefully around the eye. And I'm not going to color that part, the center part of his ear. I'm going to color that a lighter color. Go around like this. I think I'm going to actually color his tail. Could be a hurt too, I guess. Um, but I'm going to color the tail a different shade of brown. So I'm going to, after I get this part, the body part done, I'm going to go in and use a different shade of brown for that. So just a lot of big motions here. And last time when we did our drawing, we talked about perspective. So perspective means it's the view that you have depending on how far away or close up you are to an object. So obviously when you look, <clears throat> excuse me, at this tree, a tree is usually very tall and big, right? So when you're looking at the squirrel, the squirrel looks as tall as the tree almost. But obviously we know that in nature that's not possible. So that tells me from thinking about perspective that the squirrel is actually much closer to me and the tree is farther away because the tree is um, so big and we know that the squirrel is not as big as the tree. So we know that that tree must be farther away in the distance, if that makes sense. Okay. So we talked about that last time. So this is another picture that talks about perspective. Okay. All right, so put that in. And now I'm going to use a different shade of brown for the squirrel's tail. This is more of a reddish brown. And when you color in your picture, feel free to rotate your picture. It makes it easier to color sometimes if you rotate our picture out. So I'm just giving my squirrel a different color tail because I think that'd be more interesting than just all brown. Okay. So keep going around and I know your hands might get tired. So if they do, just give yourself a little break and shake your hands up. Okay. Right. So just keep going and just do your best um, to try and color the same direction. If you color the same direction, then it looks a lot neater when you do it. Okay, so there's my squirrel tail. That's okay. Happen. Sometimes it's harder with these thicker crayons. And then I'm going to color the inside part pink. And then I'm going to use an even different shade of brown for my small eye. 
people there. And then for my acorn, I'm gonna grab, let's see. I'm gonna do this color, I think this will be kind of working. For the top part, it's kind of orangish brown. And then, and then for the bottom part, I'm gonna use a dark brown. It's really dark. So, that in. It makes it stand out a little bit more. It's a little bit more interesting looking when we use some of the different colors we have. And we've got so many different shades of brown. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull my paper over a little bit so that I have my scratch paper underneath so I don't get um, brown on the table. So the scratch paper will catch all of my excess crayon. Okay, so I'm going to color in the trunk of this tree. That. All right, so then. I'm going to color in with some little bit of um, a lighter green around inside the center of the tree. And then I'm going to use a different shade of green um, Yeah, I hope that's the same one. Oops, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to agree. So then I'm going to make sure my scratch paper is underneath here so it doesn't get on the table. And then I'm going to use a darker green like this for the rest of the tops of the trees. And that'll make it a little bit more interesting looking. Um, because obviously, if you look at leaves on a tree, they're not all exactly the same. So I'm just giving my tree a little bit of interesting color here. So if we have more than one shade, it kind of it's nice to try and use those and make our things colorful. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same with the grass. I'm gonna keep my dark green out, and I'm gonna use one of these different shades of green to make it interesting. So I'm just gonna go through like this and add a little bit of this green, different shade of green in here. And I'm just going to go around like that in different spots like this and then I'm going to go back in with my dark green and color in the next. And you can go right over a little bit over the um, lighter green just like this. Okay, so my paper lined up at the edge here because I don't want to color on the table obviously. So I'm just going to go over this slightly in some of the spots where I have the other green and it'll just barely show through but it'll actually give the grass a little bit of texture which is kind of cool. Hmm. So just a little bit left. And when I have this paper underneath like this, I don't have to worry so much about going uh, off the paper and I can color all the way up to the edge because I know it's not going to get on the table. The paper underneath here catches all the excess crayon that goes off the page. So that's good. I'm sure your mom and dad don't want crayon marks all over their table. And this will protect the table. And then it helps you to color all the way up to the edge, too. Okay. So, still. Okay, now, time to put in the sky, and then we're all done. 
So I think I'm going to choose a really light blue for the sky. I'm going to rotate scratch paper underneath there. So the sky's coming in behind this tree. So it's just going to be a really bright blue sky day. Now I'm going to color. Oh, I forgot to color the nose of my squirrel. Uh oh. Let me go in there and get that. There we go. All right. Forgot about that. Just a little shade of brown on his nose. So I'm going to color carefully around these edges like that. So I'm going to have this cut down. Now, at any time that if I'm ahead of you, you know, you guys always can push pause and um, work at your speed because Mrs. R might be a lot faster um, or going too fast and that's okay because you can control that by just pushing pause on the video. Right? You don't have to get frustrated or think that you have to keep up with me because you can um, push pause and then finish up the part you're still working on and then you can come back when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I almost got the sky pulled in. Okay. All right, so there we go. We have our squirrel with the acorn, probably collecting for winter. And squirrels like to hide all of their little nuts and seeds and things, they finally bury them and then somehow they just remember where all those things are located and they find them in the woods and then they eat them. They're pretty smart little critters. All right, so that is our art project for today. I hope you enjoyed making a squirrel with Mrs. R and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye guys.